Inside Out by Duster. A song by a band. My name's Stuart. Hello. Let's learn this thing. This song is in standard tuning. Pretty simple. Well, okay. Okay, look. It's sort of in standard tuning. They're tuned to E, A, D, G, B, E, regular standard tuning, but it's all a little bit sharp. It's like unclear if it was on purpose or if it was just kind of the way they happened to be tuned that day. What you could do if you wanted is just like tune your top string up a little bit and then try to match all the other strings to that top string. Or you could just play a standard tuning and whatever. And just know that when you play along with the recording, it's going to sound a little bit off. First little part of the chord. Don't, don't worry. This gun's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. It's going to be easy. I'm going to enjoy it. We're both going to have a good time. We'll still be friends at the end of the video. First thing you're going to do is this. Like that. So here's what I did. I put my pointer finger, that's this one, I put it on the second fret of the third string from the top, the D string. I also, with that same finger, I'm trying to mute the bottom three strings if I can. We don't want to hear them, so I'm just trying to mute them. I also am taking my thumb up over the top. I'm trying to mute the top string because I don't want to hear that top string. I really just want to hear the second string from the top and the third one from the top. Now, yes, you can not worry about muting and just very carefully only hit those two strings, but if you mute the bottom ones and the top one, you could be all loosey-goosey with your strumming like a rock star, and it's still gonna sound good. We won't hear all this. See, that's no good. That's very nice. Okay, great, fantastic, you did it. Second fret, you're gonna go one, two, three, four. Just four strums down. Immediately after that, you're gonna play the fourth fret on the D string. You can use your ring finger or you can slide your pointer finger up. The choice is yours. I honestly, if we're being honest, can we, I, if, if we're being honest, I do both ways. Sometimes ring finger, sometimes pointer finger. Not worth all of that talking about that little detail. So. One, two, three, four, then ring finger or whatever goes up to the fourth fret on the D string. You play that two times. We still just want to hear those two strings. Then you're going to move your hand up so that you're playing the sixth fret on the D string. And you play that two times. So it goes second fret, then fourth fret, sixth fret. See how easy it is now that I have all these other strings muted? I just don't even have to worry over here. I feel like I've really gotten persistent. It's like I have a vendetta. What does vendetta mean? I know V is for vendetta, but I don't actually know what the word vendetta means. What am I thinking of? I have a, a thing, a thing I'm trying to do. Wait, listen. Do you hear the people talking? Okay, let's keep going. One, two, three, four. Four, six. Two, 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 four, four, six, six. It just does that, I think, twice. Let's see, it goes. Yeah, only two times. And I think it only does that twice in the entire song. Then we're gonna go to this chord. What a beautiful chord. D major seven chord. I love it. It's really truly, honestly, if we're and I think as we've well established, we're being honest in this lesson. This is a chord. Am I recording? I am good. This is a chord that I like quite a bit. So check it out. Middle finger plays the fifth fret on the A string, second string from the top. Pointer finger plays the fourth fret on the D string, the third string from the top. Then we want the sixth fret on the G string, the third string from the bottom. I like to use my pinky. I think pinky is comfortable. You can use ring if you want, but if I like pinky, and I'm pretty sure I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Pretty sure I've seen live recordings of Duster playing it. I'm pretty sure they've got they've got pinky there. But I wouldn't, I'm not gonna bet the lunchbox on it. Is that an expression? I don't think so. This chord right here, we still, we want the top string muted. We want the bottom two strings muted. We're gonna strum this chord for eight beats. Eight beats. Each beat is gonna get two strums. So the way I'm counting it is one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. And so just to be clear, eight beats, two strums for, per beat. So how many strums total? You'll get the answer at the end of the video. Do you hear all this stuff rattling? Driving me crazy. Driving me crazy. I need to get like a cushion installed on my guitar right here. Just move past it. Stuart, just move past. Oh, hi, my name's Stuart. Welcome. Please like and subscribe. One, two, three, four. Uh, uh, two, 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 four, four, 
four, six, six, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and... If this video gets 100 billion likes, I will make a tutorial for every Duster song ever. How about that? Now, after you play that one for the eight beats, you're gonna go up to this interesting chord right here. Check it out. We wanna keep the top string muted with the thumb. Ring finger plays the ninth fret on the A string. Pointer finger plays the seventh fret on the D string. And then pinky plays the ninth fret on the G string. So that's muted, then nine, seven, nine. Does it usually make this much noise? Muted, nine, seven, nine. Bottom two strings, we'd like them to be muted. My pinky just kind of automatically mutes them. I don't even have to worry about it. This one only gets two beats. One and two and. Now, that's gonna be a little bit of a tricky switch. But here's what's kind of cool. Are you ready to see what's kind of cool here? Your pointer finger and pinky just get to slide on up to seven and nine. They don't have to like reconfigure. They just have to slide up there. Your middle finger has to change because we're going boom, and then the ring finger takes over. But notice how those two fingers just get to go like that. From here to here. It's kind of, kind of a smooth transition. One and two and. And then we go to the next chord. Middle finger, 12th fret of the A string. Pointer finger is gonna be on the 11th fret of the D string, third string from the top. And then pinky is on the 13th fret of the G string, third string from the bottom. This chord is an A major seven chord. Oh, I didn't tell you the name of this one. This one, I guess, is like an F sharp minor seven chord, I suppose. A major seven. This one, eight beats. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and. After the eight beats on this, you're gonna go right back to the D major seven chord. This was like that first like big old chord we played and you're gonna do it for another eight beats. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and. Then we go back to our F sharp minor seven. That was the muted nine, seven, nine for two beats again. One and two and. And then I'll show you what comes next. But first, we gotta practice all that. How do you feel? Let's do it. One, two, here we go. And one, two, three, four, 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 six, six, two, 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 four, four, six, six, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and here we go. One, and two, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and one, and two, and... We did it, we did it. How are you feeling about it? You feeling good about this, guys? No, no. We're gonna learn the next part. At this point, it sort of just repeats several times but with a few key differences. So pretend it's basically like we're just starting from the beginning again right now, except right away there's a little difference. Instead of doing this thing, We're just gonna play this chord. It's just muted top string, open, second fret on the D string. Then I use my pointer finger, just smash down onto the G string onto the second fret. So it's just open, second fret, second fret. You can also use two fingers if you want. I just think it's way easier to use just the pointer finger. Bottom two strings muted. And we're gonna strum this chord for, you guessed it, eight beats. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and. Okay, okay, great, 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 fantastic. Then we go back to this one, the D major seven, eight beats, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Back to the F sharp minor seven, one, for two beats, one and two and. And then now we get to another key difference. It sounds to me, so okay, we're gonna have a quick little, quick little talk here. Quick little talk. There is a certain improvisational jam element to this song. Duster, I believe, to the best of my knowledge, has two guitarists most of the time. One guitarist is playing the rhythm guitar part and singing. That's pretty much what we're learning, is the rhythm guitar part. The lead guitarist 
is playing some extra notes that sometimes we're putting his notes in here, sometimes we're not. Sometimes I think he's kind of making it up as he goes along. The rhythm guitarist, I think sometimes we'll play a chord up high, sometimes we'll play it down low. We are going to match the recording pretty closely, but when they do it live, sometimes it's a little different. So we're gonna get the main chords to the song, but there is a little bit of room for improvising, for making things up and changing things as you go, as long as you keep the same basic chords the same. That being said, we are about, when, this is what I really wanted to say. And I'm talking way too long. I'm gonna cut all of this out of the video. In the live performances, I think he goes up to this chord every single time, like we did the first time. In the studio recording, I think he goes up to this chord the first time, but every time after that, it sounds like he's playing this chord. So we're gonna go ahead and play this one. It's kind of a cool sounding chord. I, I can't think of any other song where I've played this chord. That was way too much talking. Let's learn this cool chord. It's an A major seven chord with a nine. A major nine, you could call it. Middle finger, fifth fret on the top string. Pointer finger, fourth fret on the second string from the top but your pointer finger also needs to smash down and bar the next two strings. So we want it to play the fourth fret on the A string, the D string, and the G string. So that's not the top string, but the next three. So we've got middle finger, pointer finger on the next three. <laughs> I'm fine. Then your pinky is gonna play the sixth fret. I'm crying a little bit now. I'm just crying a little bit. Your pinky is gonna play the sixth fret on the D string. I think that is a magnificent chord. Eight beats, eight beats on that chord. So now that I've done all that talking, I showed you this crazy chord. This is the point of the video where you're like, yeah, I have no idea what's happening. That's great, I'm really proud of you. Check this out. The first time through, I think you guys were all with me. We went bam 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 and we went bam bam and then 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 we went bam bam. Great. Second time through, starting from right here, this is what we've got. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and one and two and three and four and everything is totally normal. One and Two beats there, then that's where we go to the crazy one. Two and three and four, five and six and seven and eight and, okay. Then we go back to this one, the D major seven. One and two, just, okay, fine, it's muted. Five, four, six, one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and, great. Up to this one again, one and two and three. No, 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 only two. One and two and. Well, and then I suppose at that point, oh, we go back down, oh, this, and then we're pretty much done. So the last little thing is that the third time when they started over for the first chord, they're playing top string muted, second string open, second fret, and then fourth fret on the G string, like that. And we do that eight times. One, two, three, four, five, eight beats. Eight beats! One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and... I think I've done a terrible job of explaining this. What do you say we play it? I'm gonna, I don't know how many times they play through this whole sequence in the song. I'm gonna guess four, but it might be three, it might be five. I'm gonna play through it three times. I recommend you play it with me and you can see how everything goes. Before I do that, here are the key differences. First, first chord. The first time we do this. Okay. The second time through, we just go like this. And the third time through, we do this with the fourth fret. The other differences we need to remember for the third chord, the first time we go up here to 12, 11, 13, every time after that, we play five, four, six, four. I know that didn't clear anything up, but when we play everything, it will make perfect sense. At this time, I would like to invite you to please play the song along with me, Duster's hit song, Inside Out. 
as performed by Stuart. Like and subscribe. I already said that. Forget I said it this time. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Here we go. And one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and one and two and one and two. Seven and eight and one and two and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and one and two and one and two and three and four and five and this is awful then here and two and three and four and five and six and seven get ready. up, but then I fixed it. Waka waka bing bang, wicked two, two, two to one and two and one. There, we did it. He probably, they probably do it four times. Ah, my energy is it, is not, I'm not, I'm not feeling it today. This is the third video I've done and I didn't like how any of them sounded sounded the sound was fine i meant i look i'm ready to stop recording